Well, that's pretty neat. I mean, NASA uses electromagnets and this track to help them develop new ways to propel a spacecraft into orbit. And you know what? NASA's also using electricity, magnetism, and tethers to help them propel spacecraft already in orbit. Wait, you said tethers, like tether ball with the pole and the rope attached to the ball? Absolutely. Some other examples of tethers besides tether ball are the elastic string that keeps a paddle ball on a paddle, a fishing line that keeps the fish on a pole, and even a leash that keeps a dog close to its owner. Maybe you can think of some more examples. You know, NASA has been using tethers and conducting experiments in space for years. You're right. In fact, in the 1960s, the Gemini astronauts used tethers to connect their spacecraft to another unoccupied rocket. The 1960s! Far out, man. What? Over the years, NASA has learned that connecting two spacecraft together opens up a whole new world of possibilities, like propelling a spacecraft. One person who knows all about tethers in space is physicist Les Johnson, and he works at NASA Marshall Space Flight Center. Thanks, Van. We're testing a new kind of propulsion system for space that doesn't need any rocket engines or fuel. Instead, it'll use the Earth's magnetic field to help push or pull on the spacecraft. All magnetic objects form invisible lines of force that extend between the poles of the object. A magnetic field is the space around the magnet where you feel its force. Magnetic field lines extend and radiate between the Earth's north and south poles and between the poles of the magnet. Basically, the Earth's magnetic field works with a special type of wire or conductor called an electrodynamic tether to push or pull on the object. The electrons that make up the electric current flowing through the conductor will experience a force when they move through a magnetic field like the Earth's. Since they're trapped in the conducting wire tether, the force will be applied to the tether and whatever is attached to it. Depending upon the direction in which the current is flowing, this force can be a push or a pull, either lowering or raising a spacecraft's orbit. So, the direction of the current determines whether it's pushing or pulling. And the more current, the more force. Right. In fact, NASA Marshall is working on a project called ProSeds, which uses the Earth's magnetic field to push or pull on the attached tether. When the tether moves, so does the spacecraft. Les, ProSeds is an acronym, right? What does it stand for? ProSeds stands for Propulsive Small Expendable Deployer System. Space exploration is limited largely by the cost of launching payloads. Finding a cheaper way to explore space is always very important to us. Typically, a rocket will place its payload into low Earth orbit, and from there, propellant-fueled thrusters have to boost it to a higher altitude. ProSeds is one experiment that focuses on the technology to cut the expense of placing a payload into its final orbit. Sounds like ProSeds can be a nice alternative to using rocket engines and lots of fuel. Absolutely. Electrodynamic tethers could one day be used as a cheap, lightweight, and reliable way to remove space junk from orbit, keep the International Space Station in orbit, and even power missions at other planets. Wow, this can get us to other planets? Tethers offer us unlimited possibilities, Van. That's why I'm all charged up about this project.